This is what a safe zone looks like. The town dance boutique in Washington, D.C. Nightclubs and bars have been that refuge for us for over a hundred years. While town's owners have a policy of not discussing the club's security, many at this fundraiser for the families of Orlando's shooting victims say they've noticed an increase in police officers on site. Event organizer Jose Plaza of the Latino LGBT History Project. This is our safe space and we're fortunate that we have security. We have the DC Metro Police Department here. While safety is on their minds, it isn't the only thing. We want to celebrate those whose lives were taken from us and that we need to continue living our life and being proud of who we are for them. I don't want to live in fear. So I think that I probably actually, maybe counterintuitively, am not looking to notice extra security. Stephanie Miller's friend K.J. Morris was killed at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. The quality time that I spent with her was in, you know, the club. That was our safe space. And in fact, that was where I met her. And she was the leader of the uh, Drag King troupe up in Massachusetts, um, where I'm from and where she lived for many years. Post Orlando, many say cowering is not an option. I don't know half the people here, but I will tell them that I love them probably because these are my brothers, these are my sisters, and that's how I look at it. It's a message many here can agree with. 